so here we are with a fail tutorial i said it's a fail because it didn't come out the way i wanted it to so i'm just going to jump right into it and go with the adore baby blue that i'm going to put in this is semi-permanent and i did bleach this hair prior to well the front part because i just want to do this part to have a different look and you guys can see that video in the description bar below or in the i car sorry i card um in the video so I'm applying this and it's going to get a little messy well not a little a lot messy and um, I'm the professional so don't come for me I'm not a hairstylist or anything like that so I'm doing this at home this is a wig for me and that's just basically it about that so do not come for me all right so I'm just applying the the dye to the hair this way and then I do have these gloves on because these are the only gloves I had at the moment so again okay don't come for me don't judge me okay but anyway so I mean I am using a brush I did decide to use a brush um so I could just kind of evenly spread it or have it spread out throughout the hair so I can basically have an even you know type deals or what have you so once again if you guys want to see how I bleach the hair you could definitely watch a video that I did on how I bleach frontals or closures or what have you I will link it down below so so again I am applying the product to the hair and I didn't apply the whole bottle I just apply um, enough that I think that will saturate the hair so that's just basically about that again it got a little messy I should have put a plastic cap over my canvas block hair but I was not thinking so that got kind of got messed up so yeah um, I was not really thinking I just was kind of rushing this if you will so yeah and um, I did apply the royal blue maybe I should have applied the royal blue first because I was trying to go for a light baby blue hair but I have to go to um, YouTube University and, and try to see what's going on because um, obviously I know what I was doing. So it kind of gave a green turquoise type deal. And I was just like, Ugh, I wasn't going for that. But um, you guys don't know, like the color green. But hey, so but it, at least it didn't turn dark. And it was a different color from the other hair because I had that problem in the past. All right, I put the plastic cap and I definitely put the... Um, the foil on it after not on camera okay so now i am blow drying the hair and i'm blow drying the hair because i will be doing a cold weight rise set now i shouldn't have blow dried it because this is why i blow dry it okay i blow dried it because i thought i was going to have it straight but then i thought about it i was like no i'm gonna do a cold weight rise set so i could have left it wet but it would have took longer to dry so i did blow dry it because i thought i was gonna do it straight but then i'm glad that i blew dry it because it didn't take that long to dry so that's basically about that so you don't have to blow dry it if you're going to do a cold weight rouse set then you know basically you can dry it overnight or you can um put leave it under the dryer for two hours and i did the bonnet dryer you'll see that in a minute all right so i'm going to use the olive oil wrap and set mousse as you guys see here i do um apply two pumps of it um so i can saturate the strands that i'm going to put the cold wave rod set on and you guys can use flexi rods if you will a lot of people love the flexi rods i like the cold wave rod sets because it's a little bit easier for me the flexi rods are a little bit too much for me like i don't know but yeah and that gives you like a softer curl i believe and these are like more of a tighter curl so if you want your curls to last longer i will go for the cold wave rod set and i did do this on my sister's hair one time so if you want to see that video definitely go check that out as well i'll try to link it down below if i can remember um but that's basically about that and i was trying to figure out should i curl under or over so that's why you'll see me unraveling and i was trying to decide and i didn't know so you guys know i like to put my little fails in here and this whole video was basically a fail but um you know i because it wasn't the color that i was going for but again it was a different color from the hair and i'm glad it didn't turn dark because that's what happened to my other wig that i tried to color i didn't show you guys but um i was mad at it because it turned right back to black and i was like what did i do wrong so i'm learning again i'm not a professional i'm not a hairstylist so this is just what i'm doing okay all right so that's basically about that so i'm not going to talk through the whole video i'm going to come back in a little bit later and i'm just basically rolling the hair and i will be back to talk to you guys some more okay peace
Okay, now we are done. And I'm applying the bonnet onto the hair. So it's a bonnet hair dryer. And my hands are ashy, okay? My hair has been in water all day that day, okay? So don't come for me. This is, I did this yesterday, okay? Today is the fifth that I'm recording, well, voice recording this. Um, but yeah, so that's basically about that. But yeah, so I let it stay in there. I put it on high, and I let it stay for like an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and 40 minutes. And now it's time to take the curls out. It was a, still a little bit damp, but not too much damp, but it was enough. So the next time I'll just leave it for two hours or I'll do it overnight to get a, a better, you know, so it could be drier, if you will. But um, the hour and 40 minutes or two hours is approximately a good time to do it, especially if it's dry. But if it's wet, it'll probably take longer and depend upon what type of hair it is as well. So if it's like curly hair, it might take a little bit longer because the strands are like probably kinky. Like if it's like the kinky hair, it's probably going to take longer because the, you know, probably hold water more. But yeah, so that's basically about that. But yeah, so I'm unraveling the rollers and yeah, and that's it. And that's, that's all. And I'm going to show you guys how I apply the wig onto my head. Again, I did not like the color because it looked like a turquoise green. You guys know I don't like green, but that's just what it is. But I'm not going to talk through the whole video. This is it. This is what it's looking like. I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Any more hair videos, wig videos. I am trying, y'all. I'm trying to think of some content to do. And this takes a lot. This really takes a lot because it's a lot you got to do. You got to put a lot of time and effort into it. And it's not just a one, two, three, you know, one, two step. Like Sierra, let me see you. One, two step. Oh, yeah. I did use olive oil to um, separate the curls because I separated some of the curls. Not all of them but just some of them just to get a little bit more of a fluffier look but that's just basically about that so you guys will see me apply the unit and then you will see the finished product at the end while it's on my head and that's just basically it you guys so i don't want to talk you guys this head off if you guys have any questions please let me know um again i'm not a professional i'm not a hairstylist so um yeah don't come for me okay i know what i did wrong but you know you can let me know in the comments like oh you should have did this and this other. just give me some tips it's cool it's cool but not be rude or nothing like that you know what i mean but anyway i digress all right so i'll talk to you guys later if you have any questions comments, comments, but that is for watching peace bye Thank you.